Hey guys, Sammy Benitez here. So I am at the Etowah River where it intersects with Yellow Creek Road. This is kind of a little bit off the beaten path. You can see this is kind of what you're working with. There is some area to park up closer to the road. Um, but if you don't have four wheel drive or something a little all terrain, you're gonna have a hard time getting to the river. But it, uh, it comes up close to this neighborhood. This is all private property. This is all public. There's a, a bridge right up ahead. But so we are launching here from Yellow Creek Road and we're gonna be going to East Cherokee Road on the Etowah River. It is 1023. So let's see how long this actually takes. So yeah, you'll, you'll come down this path, hit straight over. <laughs> so this is the stuff you gotta make it through. Say hi, Gavin. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, not super easy. It's doable. Look at the camera for a Alright, we're gonna start with this. You see this homemade lure? Ah, oh, it's like a little uh, bug. Yeah. And it's got rattles in it because I took the the thing out of the net rig, the yeah, rattling yeah, I put, net rig. Put and that it, in there. I shoved it in there. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really float, but it's slow sinking. Yeah. Oh, fish on. It's a big bluegill. Here we go. Ah, oh, I got a nibble. bluegill here if you want to try and catch <laughs> not getting the hook oh ah third time you got a fish <laughs> wow that is looks like a good bass were you able you were you got it on the bottom you were able to fish the bottom yeah, yeah try if you find a V, follow it. Like a tent and stuff. 
Oh, something just came up and grabbed us while I was reeling it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> hey. Spot on the homemade lure. Hang on, dude. Let me find my pliers. So when I'm fishing rivers, I am typically targeting structure. So the Etowah, the, the water kind of dirty today. There might be a foot or two of visibility. So these fish are going to be holding tighter to structure than normal. And uh, you also want to consider the flow of the river. So you want to make the bait look as natural as possible. So when you throw that lure, you kind of want to cast it up river and then bring it down river coming up over structure, uh, keep it in the shade. Those are all some good techniques or practices when you're on the river. Try and fish something weedless if you can because you're gonna get hung up a lot, which is why I'm fishing kind of a topwater setup. But I'm basically casting up river towards the bank as close as I can to the structure and then coming away or coming over. A lot of these predator fish are just kind of, they're in a break from the current just holding and when something comes around or over the structure is typically when they're striking. So the water temperature is like 75 degrees. It's, it's nice and cool. We're in shaded bank. Um, so these are all good things for catching fish. This is a great spot. The current's coming right over. There's a lot of structure so there's possibly some predator fish just chilling right there. Typically, I would want to get a little farther. That's all I'm doing, just casting and bringing my lure back to me. I'm trying to direct it in that direction, generally. So fishing these breaks in the current is also a good idea. Right there, there's probably some fish sitting. Just waiting for an easy meal. We gotta catch up to our group. It's just rocky. It's like pebbly. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> I was thinking about switching it to a, I have like a chartreuse spinnerbait. I think we're going to go through like another like big section of rapids. Yeah. And up here is the WMA, after that's the WMA, and then from there is like two or three more bends, and then you're at the 372 bridge. Okay. Bass looks a little different. I don't know what kind it is.
spot. Oh my god. Chartreuse spinner bait right here. So I'm I don't know if I'm on to something. Let's let's just keep fishing. Oh those last two fish I just started reeling it real fast like over the cover. Yeah. Like I didn't let it sink at all. Almost on the surface. Chubby this thing is. It's pretty crazy. There's a fish over there. I know, I know it. <laughs> I just that, feel it. Just got that tingy feeling. Yeah. It meets all the, all the criteria. The structure, the shade, the slow low water. Oh. It's like a full nap. Oh! Good one. Look at that. I called it. Shoot. I'm about yeah, to go into the that. trees. Check out this. Oh, come on, again. Are you serious? Yeah, it's got to be a bluegill. Because it's just like I'm not getting it the double tap. Right. Oh, I saw that one's come scoop it up. Ah, oh, 
Spit it out. Had a decent one. Spotted back. I just don't know how he gets the hook in his mouth. <laughs> Here we go. I wonder if they use it as like an intercooler for something. Maybe, yeah. Or a, a radiator. He's after it. Ah, he bit it twice. <laughs> I missed it. It works. Alright, let's get out of this mess. In that stagnant water. Oh, I got hit. Come on. There we go. I got hit again. Hit it again. That was wrong. This. This is, I don't know what this is, it's a water treatment facility. The other one was here at Cook County. Yeah. Water. Yeah, I think the other one was like the pump station, like you said, like the pumping the water. Gotcha, yeah. Because yeah. this is that big one you see, the big ponds. Yeah, right from, by the, the yeah, bridge, by, like we're right there now, finally. Yeah. I should have looked at how long this really was. Instead of trying to go off memory, clearly. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look when, like on that map that you sent me. You know, with all the the Etowah map. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna look at that. Let's see. Mile marker, mile marker. I think stay left, but then we're gonna have to cut right. Cut right. Is that it right there? The East Cherokee. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all those people. <laughs> oh man. It's like a party, some of his family reunion. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? That's crazy, I've never seen that many people. Yet. So I think we're gonna cut right up in here, like that way. Yeah. And then start making our way across. Yeah. Probably the best. Put your feet out. <laughs> <laughs> So this is East Cherokee takeout. So this is where we gotta put in our takeout. What do we do? Just push from here? So we're here at the East Cherokee Takeout. You can also use this as a put-in if you're gonna go to the Etowah River Park. What time is it? 5.30? We put on 10.23, so seven hours. Yeah, pretty good. Seven hour paddle <laughs> from Yellow Creek Road to East Cherokee. That's pretty uh, good. Nice day trip. Yeah, for sure. So. Now the hard part. Yeah, now we gotta load up. The three kayaks get back to the other vehicle over at the Yellow Creek Road.
All right, guys, so we just loaded up kayak on my truck here and just want to update you. So the trip took seven hours from Yellow Creek Road, where we are right now, all the way to East Cherokee, close to Highway 5 over in Ball Ground, Georgia. We caught a decent amount of fish. A lot of them came on that spinner bait there. So it was key thing fishing the shaded side close to laydowns and, and timber and uh, also working that spinnerbait real fast. As soon as it hit the water, keeping it at the top of the water column, making sure that the, the spinnerbait's moving pretty quick, it's not sinking or anything, and that's when I was getting the hit. That was the best lure of the day. The other lure I was using was a homemade lure, kind of imitates kind of like a, a fly that I can throw on a spinning rod. And that proved to do well too. It seemed to attract a lot more bluegill, which I'm not surprised, but it worked. I caught some fish. I actually caught a decent bass that got off. But for anybody that's curious on trying to make this trip, you're gonna need a minimum of two vehicles that can carry kayaks. You're gonna need about seven hours of time just for traveling on the water. So that doesn't take into account dropping off loading up all that other stuff so just plan for a full day the water was pretty cool maybe 75 degrees increased a little bit maybe 78 degrees throughout the day and it, it was a good time we only saw a handful of people throughout the day until we got to that east cherokee takeout point there was a lot of people there kind of surprising but i guess during these times everybody's trying to get out get away from people and and it's not working because there's still a ton of people there but I'm going to leave you guys with that. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this helps. So if you got any questions, leave a comment down below. I like to travel to Etowah a lot, so maybe I can help answer your question there. With that being said, I'm going to leave you all. Thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace, guys.